YouTube, Lenny Sly, RoadWarriorTC.com. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different that you normally will not see within the Aikido community. We're going to show you how to apply a rear naked choke, aka Japanese terminology, Hadakajime. Um, obviously, you know, rear naked choke has been, uh, it's, it's one of, the, you know, one of the talk of the towns when it comes to, you know, BJJ techniques. It's very sensationalized that, you know, BJJ is, uh, you know, those guys are the ones, and MMA guys are the ones that use it a lot for submission techniques and whatnot. And it's, it's a great choking technique. Now, my disclaimer to you, okay, is I'm not a BJJ guy, okay? I have scrappled with people before, I have done wrestling, it's, but I am by no means, I don't, do not hold any rank whatsoever in BJJ. So, for all of the MMA uh, fanboy trolls out there that are gonna start telling me that oh, you're not applying this right, or you're not applying this right, or you're not doing the choke right. I personally, I don't care. It's, it's not the point of this, okay? It's how to get into a rear naked choke using Aikido principle, whether it's from a punch or whether it's from a shove, okay? So, the thing with me, with, with Hadaka Jime, which with the rear naked choke, is even on the street, okay, you go to apply this technique, you're not gonna be a thousand percent precise with your application. So let's all take that into account. Let's keep that in the back of our heads that in the heat of the moment when you go to apply this, you're not going to be 100% precise on your technique, okay? Neither will I. In my opinion as well, a lot of MMA guys or BJJ guys, there's really a good chance that they're might not going to get it 100% either because you're going to have that struggle with people and whatnot. Yes, I've talked about in the past, you're not going to have somebody who's going to resist you in a real world situation when they don't know what's coming. Absolutely true to a certain degree. When it comes to choking techniques or any type of submission technique, once you start applying, the other person is going to start resisting when it comes to that. Aikido technique is different. We're not usually choking in Aikido. You know, we have, you know, kubishimi techniques, which are neck choking techniques, not exactly the same as Hadaka Jime or Sankaku Jime or Hon Jime or any type of other type of Japanese choking technique. Um, but with that being said, this technique is, I want to show you guys how you can get into the rear naked choke from using Aikido principle and from a shove or from a punch. So I'll demonstrate both of those so you guys can see how this is done, okay? So hey, onigashimasu. So I brought here today, he's uh, fresh back from the Philippines. He was gone for a couple weeks, that's why you really haven't seen any videos and the guys out there with the online classes, um, obviously there's been a lull with that as well because I haven't had my, uh, my favorite uke here to demonstrate techniques and uh, produce some more videos, but we're getting back on track with that and we're gonna have we're gonna put a nice, um, nice little package together where there's gonna be quite a few techniques in, in the upcoming weeks, especially with the holidays coming up. It's, it's kind of hard to get everybody synchronized with one another and everyone in class at, uh, at the same time to be able to do this. So, so with the Aikido principles of using hand deflections, kiriage, suriage, from the Iri Minage application, okay? So we're gonna walk through this slope. So just from like a Mune Dori type of shove, this kiriage moving to Iri Minage, how you would throw the Iriminage, they would take that ukemi and you would dump them down, okay? Now here's the thing with this. Aikido guys, okay, if you're gonna practice this technique and try to incorporate this within your Aikido, fantastic, do it. But the one thing that I also want to specify is that the uke do not automatically assume to take Iriminage breakfall. Because when that happens, okay, Rod, sorry, okay, go ahead, he starts to absorb do an Iri Minage breakfall, you can't get a rear naked choke if he's already thinking to absorb the technique and escape the throw by taking Ukemi. So you don't necessarily want to start absorbing this from the Uke perspective, especially if you're practicing the choke. We fall into that because we're always escaping injury. That's why we take Ukemi. I'm gonna do a separate video on Ukemi within the next week or so. So I'm gonna have a whole new, the truth about IQ. The truth about Aikido, whether you like it or not, this is the reason why we fall. Look for that video because that video is going to be coming. It's going to be all about, you know, Aikido Ukemi. The good, the bad, and the what the fuck was that, okay? 
There's a lot of people out there that like to sensationalize their, their Aikido Ukemi. And that's also kind of the reason why we get such a bad rap out there for Aikido. is because people are taking these very dynamic and dramatic falls. And that's why a lot of people look at that going, that's bullshit, that doesn't work, that's fake. They're, you know, he's throwing himself. There's, there's a method behind the madness with that, and I'll go into that in another video, and you guys will clearly understand why we do this. And then maybe some of you guys will start to lighten up on bashing the Aikido because there's reason why we do this, and I'll explain that in another video. But with the Ukemi aspect on this, you don't want to somewhat absorb this because this is done off of the Edi Minage technique. So one more time, so from the shove, as this happens, you're coming in, you're actually going to apply the throw, but the uke is not absorbing, so it's more along the lines of this. Then you move right into the hadakajime. Okay, sorry, I had to release because you started choking. That's the whole point. So again, you're going to be taking an arm right to the neck. So you're ever doing this five, ten, fifteen times in class. The next day, you're probably going to feel a little sore, almost to the point where you have, you feel like you have a borderline like strep throat thing going on here. Very uncomfortable, especially when you're. You're getting hit in the neck and then going right into a choke. So one more time. So this comes through, move in, choke, and then you lock this up. Okay, so once you come in with this, you have to move behind him. Then you go right for the choke and you cinch your elbows down as you squeeze. You all right? Hey. He's tapping really fast, guys, so I gotta be careful on how I do this. So right from here, I squeeze elbows and I push the back of his head. That's how I know how to do it. You can see it's effective, he's tapping. Some of you guys have probably better ways of doing it. Enlighten me, share that with me, because I want to better that technique for myself as well so I can teach to my students. Like I said, I'm not a BJJ guy, but I do like to use some of this stuff within the Aikido that I teach, that's why I'm doing this video. So again, as he comes through, this is extremely important, this deflection has to be fast. Okay, and I'm using this from a shove. So he goes to shove, I, he goes to shove, you need to be able to get this deflection here and then move in. That has to be fast. It has to be very fast. It can't be this. Because then he puts his arm up and he blocks that. Then you can't get anything from there. So this still has to be extremely quick to the point of this happens. And then from here, you have to move behind him. So as you move behind him, this hand is going to go right into position and go right over, snake over, and then cinch and squeeze. You okay? okay? So you squeeze this at that point. Then you can take them down to the ground if you need to. Okay? So one more time. Like that. You alright? Hey. This one's gonna be a little bit different. You okay? Hey. So I gotta be very careful because we're not, we don't normally train this. This is relatively new for my guys. So I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm always taking care of my uke. Some of you guys think that I beat the shit out of him. It, it looks that way. He's that good though. Turn the camera to him. Okay, I have no gun, so I'm not sticking a gun in his face. I'm not paying him extra any money. How many times do I beat the shit out of you in videos? You ever complain? It's no. It's part of the training. He understands. So I'm not abusing my ukes for all those that think that I do. I don't abuse my ukes. I train my ukes to be tough. He can handle this no problem. And if you guys already don't know, he's only a fourth Q. Okay? He's not even a black belt. Most fourth Qs can't even endure the ukemi that he can. Guy's unbelievable for just his level of Aikido alone. Again, one more time. You can advance it to this if you want it as well. Okay? You group, choke, and you can Drop down and lock this in. So I can sit, you okay? Hey. I can sit, drop this down, and cinch this in and, and choke. It's happening too fast, I'm barely applying this. Sit down. So right from here, I can apply this. Get the hooks in, whatever. If he rolls over, he's choking. You okay? Hey. You okay? I don't, wanna, I don't want him to pass out on that. From a punching standpoint, very similar, but you gotta remember, this might be a one-two type of combination. So if that was that one-two type of combination, so say left-right punch, so left-right, right? So it can be that point of, you know, one-two moving in on that and doing the same thing. 
We're obviously going a little slow with that, but if that's wham wham for you know fast punches, you can still move in with deflections and get that. If it's just a straightforward punch, it's the same thing. So fast punch, fast punch. It's the same thing. You're moving right in. Right in for that choke and squeeze. So it's very quick. It's very quick. You good, so? Okay, one more. Locked up. Okay? One last time, slow. Slow. So as it comes in, it's one, two, Ininage. But then come up behind him. You have to move behind him. Snake in the choke. Squeeze the life out of him. Okay? From this angle right here. Now, one thing that you want to make sure that this doesn't happen is this. So he punches, shoves whatever he punches, and you go to here, if you don't move, you're not gonna be able to get the rear naked. But if he turns to his left, he applies it himself. Because he turns his body, as you go to do this, if he starts to turn out, you can now cinch it in and get that. So he's almost falling into your lap to be able to do that. One more time. So if you don't move in here and he turns to escape, now you have it right away. One more time. Turns, escapes, and you got it. See, but now say I feel like start pulling down to your left. He starts pulling down, and now it changes. The big thing is you want to get behind him. So you want to be able to move. So when this happens, you move. Now you apply that. You okay? Hey. Okay. So that's my demonstration for today. That's my take on Hadaka Jime using Aikido principle off of a shove, off of a punch. Take it for what it's worth. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be said. I've already opened up my big mouth talking about other stuff with the truth about Aikido with those couple videos. You know, let me clarify something for you guys, okay? Um, I got a lot of great comments, got a lot of great feedback. A lot of people watched uh, the first one. You know, for, for everybody out there that doesn't know me, that just got turned on to this channel, okay? And for all the guys out there that are, you know, the, the armchair quarterbacks and, you know, the, the, the MMA experts and whatnot, and people that like want to comment on my demeanor and the way how I'm talking and the profanity that I use and everybody thinks that I'm angry, all this other shit. Why the fuck do you guys think I'm fucking angry about Aikido? Okay? Instead of being angry, it's about being passionate. Can you see how fast I can turn that on and turn it off? It's all acting. Okay? It's what it is. I can turn that on and turn that off at any given time. It's the way how you guys take it. It's amazing how fast just a little bit of acting can make somebody think that you're really mad about something. It's called about being passionate. I'm passionate about what I do. I'm passionate about helping others. I'm passionate about spreading on my knowledge to everybody else. I'm not angry in the least bit. I'm frustrated at the idiots that are out there that cannot even see past what I'm really doing. You watch the video, and a lot of you guys are great. And trust me, I'm not calling all of you idiots. But there's a lot of idiots out there that make comments that really are just, it's pointless for you to even comment about some stuff because you don't know what's going on. You see the techniques, but you don't understand the inner working of the technique. Okay, and for all the times I told people, hey, come on out. Come out and train with me. You know, I'll educate you. It's not a challenge. I'm not gonna beat anybody up, but I'll show you how this works. You can't really see the inner workings and you can't see what he's feeling within the moment that I do technique. You can see maybe a facial expression or whatnot, but you can't truly feel what he's feeling. You can't, you're just seeing it, but you don't know what he's feeling inside, you know, whether it's being strangled or whether the pain from the wrist lock application or whatnot. You don't know what that feels like unless you've done it with me or with one of my senior students. Because as, as much as people say, oh, we do the same thing, you don't, okay? I follow through with technique. I follow through with Kotagaishi. Okay, I've seen a lot of people do Kotagaishi that don't follow through 
and then don't get the results. And they get reversed on or they get frustrated. Oh, that doesn't work. Well, you're not following through. Okay, just an example. This is not following through with cultivation. Where's the result? Where's the result? That's not following through. That's following through. I follow through with technique. That's why it looks brutal. That's why it looks painful. That's why it works. If you don't follow through with your application, you're not gonna get anything from it. It's not gonna work. So if you train that way in the dojo, to where you're not following through and actually applying the application, you're not, you're not getting better. You're just, you're stopping. The second you don't see the result, you, you retract, you back away. Follow through. And I'm not saying be a prick about it and try to hurt somebody because they're not taking a chemi, but if you're applying it properly, it's gonna make them roll, break, fall, fall down, then you're gonna get the end result that you wanted. And that's the whole point behind this anyways. So, again, I'm not an angry person. I'm not angry about anything. It's called being passionate. And I have to turn on the acting skill sometime to actually make you guys believe that I am angry when I'm really not. Because at the end of the day, I succeeded. I got you to watch my whole entire video. I shared my knowledge with you. That's my goal, is to share my knowledge. There's other guys out there that are trying to do something similar by sharing their knowledge. And I watch some of their stuff. And quite frankly, I have to say, they're really not sharing jack shit. Because the end result is still the same. They still failed at what they're doing. There's no, there's no benefit from what I see. And the other thing too is, I never comment on anybody's YouTube videos. Very rarely do I ever comment. As a matter of fact, I just commented on one the other day. But I normally don't comment on other people's videos. Because I'm not there. I see the lesson, but I'm not experiencing the lesson. So whatever they're doing, that's their thing. This is my thing, this is my Aikido, okay? Said it once, I said it twice, I say it a thousand times. It's based off of Steven Seagal's methodology, but this is my Aikido, that's what it is. It's not anyone else's. And for all the guys that are out there say that this is an Aikido, well, I beg to differ with you because I've been told by several of my past senseis, my former senseis, that if it works, it's Aikido. Like the video, hit a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We've been getting a lot of subscribers lately, which is great. Help us grow, spread the knowledge. Thank you, Rod. Hi. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great holiday. Peace.